Yo, I'm amazed by the fact that people are having such a hard time reproducing that we have to go to like, you know, a lot of people have to go to the fertility clinic in order to have babies. Um, and I've done a lot of reading, like nutrition and physical degeneration and pot and juice cats. And you see how modernized food, you know, seems to be highly associated with, you know, lack of fertility and reproductive problems. Now, I was reading the other day, and I've heard this before in seminars, but I just stumbled upon it again the other day. And I was reading a book called um, Under the Veil of Deception, and that's by Paul Check. And it's about, you know, organic farming. It's about soil, that we're only as healthy as the soil. And I wanted to share an excerpt with you about uh, fertility and organic foods. And this is a great reason for guys to eat organic foods and for women to encourage their men to eat organic foods. Now, check this out. Based on 61 studies published since 1938 involving a total of nearly 15,000 subjects, Swan, who was the researcher, found that average sperm counts among healthy American men have dropped from 120 million sperm per milliliter of semen in 1938 to just over 50 million sperm per milliliter. I have such a hard time saying that. Milliliter in 1988. All right, so we went from 120 million sperm all the way down to 50 million sperm per milliliter, you know, in a matter of 50 years. That's a decline of 1.5% each year, all right? In Europe, sperm counts have fallen to roughly the same levels, though twice as fast, at 3.1% each year between 1971 and 1990. That's huge. We do not have the sperm count that we used to have, I mean, only 50 years ago. It's amazing, all right? Furthermore, should you be worried not if you eat organically raised vegetables and animals like me. All right, the Organic Farming Food Quality and Human Health Report cites two current research studies showing that sperm like organic food. The studies found that groups of men who consumed organically grown food had average concentrations of 99 and 127 million sperm per milliliter respectively. All right, the latter having the highest intake of organic food greater than 55% of the diet. All right, so giving these guys an organic, just a 50% organic diet, got their sperm counts back up to normal levels. All right, the control groups who, do, who did not eat organic food had average concentrations of 69 and 55 million sperm per milliliter, respectively. Okay, they still had the low sperm count. All right, now. While the authors state that these differences may have been due to other lifestyle or geographical factors such as country versus city dwelling or occupational exposure to other chemicals, it is interesting to note that the men eating organic food had sperm counts very similar to the men in 1938, while those not eating organic foods have sperm counts in accordance with those reported by epidemiologist Shauna Swan. It is also worthy to note that no matter who you are or where you are, we are all being exposed to toxic levels of industrial chemicals. All right, eating organic foods is a sure way to lessen the overall burden on your system. Guys, all right, you're made out of like 120 trillion cells. Those cells need nutrients, all right? The nutrients you get from organic fruits and vegetables and organic foods are, are far superior and far greater than you'll ever get from commercial conventional foods, all right? It's like night and day, all right? If I told you to build a brick house with wood, you would look at me like I was nuts, but that's what we're doing. We're taking in processed foods and we're not giving ourselves the body building materials that we need that we're supposed to get from organic foods. So it's really no surprise that we can't reproduce anymore. It's no surprise that we're sick. It's no surprise that we have low sperm counts, all right? What I encourage you to do is do a YouTube search for PPNF, that's PPNF, Price Pottinger Nutrition Foundation, and learn about the works of Weston Price and Francis Pottinger. And just to give you a quickie on Francis Pottinger, he did a study with cats, okay? And so he had one group of cats that ate raw foods, okay, with the nutrients intact. He had another group of cats who ate pasteurized cooked foods, okay? And we know what he noticed is that after three generations, okay, to kind of sum it up for you, after three or maybe it was four generations, the cats on the cooked diet, on the pasteurized diet, can no longer reproduce. And if you actually think about how far we're in to commercial processed foods, it's about three or four generations. 
and everybody, or not, I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people are having to go to the fertility clinic to have kids. All right? So that's PPNF. All right? I'm out of here. Peace. Have a good weekend.